Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we're going to build this blog homepage over here using Next.js, ShadeCN and Motion.dev for the subtle animations that you see over here. So if you reload this page, this is how it looks. Now I have already shown you a demo of how this looks in the previous video. So you can check that out. Now in this video, we will start our project and we'll set everything up. So let's get started. Now before starting with our project, uh, the first thing you need to do is have Node.js installed on your system. So just go to the website nodejs.org and click on download and you can download and install Node.js for your operating system. And once you install Node.js, you can go to your terminal. So here I have opened this uh, folder called blog in VS Code and you can just open the terminal of VS Code. So you can just go over here to view and uh, click on terminal. And here if you just tap node hyphen hyphen version, you should see the node version over here. And if you just tap npm hyphen hyphen version, you should see the npm version over here as well. And once you install Node.js, you can just uh, execute these commands and uh, you should see this output something like this. And once you see this, you'll be able to proceed with our tutorial. So I'll just clear this. Now in this video, we will set everything up. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a Next.js application. So for that, you can just tap npx create next app at latest and since we are creating this in this current folder we can just type dot over here and if you want to create a new folder you can just add the name of the folder over here but i'll just type dot and press enter and sometimes you'll see this prompt you can just press enter and uh, here we have some options that we need to select so we will use typescript so let's press yes and we'll also use eslint we'll also use tailwind css for the styling and we'll just select no for the source directory and for the app router we'll select yes and we'll select yes for turbo pack as well and we'll just select no for customizing the import alias so now we can see that all the dependencies are being installed and here we can see our next year's project has been created let's go ahead and open this by typing npm run dev and here we can see it runs on localhost 3000 let's open this and this is how our app looks right now. So this is the basic default design of Next.js. Now I'll just go ahead and walk you through these uh, files and folders over here. Now here we can see we have this file called tsconfig.json and if I open that we can see that there are some rules for TypeScript over here. We don't need to make any changes in this. And the next one is readme.md file and this is a basic readme file which gets automatically created by Next.js when we set up the project. You can also go ahead and change the contents of this. And the next one is uh, this file called postcss.config.mjs. And this is where we have the Tailwind CSS uh, setup. And then we have the package.json file over here where we have all the scripts and the dependencies of our application displayed. So here we can see we are using React 19 version and Next.js 15 version, which is the latest versions. And then we have this package log.json file and we don't need to change anything in this. Then we have the next config.ts file. Here we can add some configurations for our app. Right now we don't need to do anything in this. We will add some code over here later when we need to use images in our website. And then we have this next env.dts file and we don't need to do anything in this. This is automatically generated by Next.js. And then we have some eslint config over here. And then we have the git ignore file where we can specify which of these files and folders we don't want to push to our github and then we have this public folder where we can store our assets we have the images and all those things can be stored over here and then we have this folder called node modules and uh, in this we have all the dependencies of our application stored and this is also automatically handled by next.js and then we have this dot next folder and uh, this is also handled by next.js we don't need to touch it the majority of our time will be spent in this app folder where we have this uh, page.tsx file. This is our homepage file that we see over here. So if you go back, this is the page that is displayed over here. So if we go ahead and remove all of this. And if I just go ahead and uh, return an H1 and let's type welcome. I'll just go ahead and remove the import of the image. And if I go back, we can see that welcome is displayed over here. So this is the starting point of our application. And then we have this globals.css file where we have all our CSS for our application. And then we have this file icon over here. And we also have this file called layout.tsx. And this is where we can uh, import the fonts and also add the metadata. So here we can see we have the title and the description. 
and this is uh, where we have the html tag the body tag and all these things over here and uh, here we can add things like the nav bar and the footer and all those things which will be repeated throughout our application so this is basically how our next.js application looks now while we are here let's also go ahead and uh, install chatcn so chatcn is basically a component library so here we can see there are different types of components and uh, we can use this in our website and uh, the source code of these components will be stored in our application itself so in this way we can go ahead and uh, customize these components to our needs so let's go ahead and install this let's click on get started you can go to this website called ui.chatcn.com and let's pick our framework which is next.js and here we can see we have this command called npx chatcn at latest in it let's copy this and let's go back to our vs code let's create a new terminal and uh, let's paste the command over here let's press enter and here we have some options that we need to select i'll just select neutral and uh, with that chatcn has been installed in our project and if you go over here we can see that we have a new file called components.json and if i open that we have all these uh, chatcn specific properties uh, displayed over here and we also have some changes made in the global.css file so all this code has been added by chatcn now let's go ahead and check whether chatcn is working so let's go to our page.tsx file and uh, let's load a button component so for that let's go back to chatcn and uh, let's search for a button so you can just click on this search uh, input and let's type button let's uh, select this component and here we have some preview and some code but uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the installation command so here we can just type npx chatcn at latest add button so let's copy this and paste it over here so i'll just press enter and now we can see that we have a new folder created over here called components and if i open that we have a new folder called ui and in the ui we have this button.tsx file and if i open that we have all the code of the button displayed over here we have different variants and all those things and all these are tailwind css code so now let's go ahead and use this button let's go back to our page.tsx file let's wrap all of this inside a div and let's go ahead and uh, below this h1 let's type button and let's import this from components ui button and here let's type testing let's go back and this is how it looks let's go ahead and uh, restart our server let's tap npm run dev and uh, let's go back and uh, reload this page and now we can see we have this button over here so this is the chat cn button we can go ahead and check out different variants so if we just type variant and if i just select let's select destructive and if i go back here we can see we have this uh, red colored button so with that we can confirm that chat cn is working and also tailwind css is working so if i just go ahead and type class name and text for excel here we can see that tailwind css is working and now the last thing we will do in this video is set up our fonts so if you go back to our original website we can see that there are two fonts in our website we have this playfair display font and also this font called inter so let's go back let's go to the layout.tsx file and let's set up our fonts so here we can see that there is an option in next.js to import fonts from next font google so let's import inter and playfair display from here so let's uh, delete this and let's type inter and playfair display and next we need to go ahead and uh, create constants for the fonts over here so let's delete these two and let's tap const inter let's set it equal to enter and in that we need to pass some options so we have subsets let's set it to latin and we also need to set up a variable let's set it to hyphen hyphen font enter so here we need to change this to enter and with that we have set up our enter font let's also go ahead and set up playfair display so let's type const playfair i'll just call it playfair equals playfair display and here let's pass subsets let's add latin inside this array and let's also add a variable and let's call it hyphen hyphen font playfair and here let's also go ahead and change the metadata so let's type writing that resonates a modern blog and for the description let's go ahead and type insights on tech design and creativity from a 
thought leader right now here in our uh, body we need to pass the font variable so we have enter so let's tap enter and also playfair so let's tap playfair now let's go to our globals.css file and here let's add the fonts so right now we can see that we have font sans and font mono let's change font sans to variable which we created called font enter and let's create another css variable called font serif and uh, here let's type font playfair and now we can go ahead and use font sans and font serif in our application so if you go back to page.tsx file and here if i just type font sans and if i go back to our application and if i check out the font we can see that it is enter and if i just go ahead and change this to font serif if i go back we can see that it is uh, playfair display so this is basically how we can set up font in our next year's website so with that we have set up our project and uh, from the next video we will start designing the components of our website so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day